Good morning and welcome to your morning intention setting moment. It is Wednesday, April 8th. I'm Reverend Rose. I'm the minister of Shawnee Mission Unitarian Universalist Church, aka Smooch. And this is your moment to find a little space, a little agency in your day. We will begin by lighting our chalice. I invite you to have a chalice at home that you can light at any moment that you need a little bit of ritual or a spiritual space first thing in the morning, late at night with other people, anytime you need to just create a little bit of uh, a little halo around yourself of sacred space. So today I will light our chalice for Our ability to accept the things we cannot change, for us to have the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So I invite you to close your eyes, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Letting your body soften Letting the corners of your lips turn up. Just give yourself this one moment. Maybe squeeze your arms. Give yourself a pat on your chest. A little rock and a hug. We're all actually just big babies and so there is a lot of science proving that if we rock ourselves and hum to ourselves, it is very soothing and um, that we have the same response as a baby would, which is calming down and feeling comfortable and cared for, especially for people who are isolated. That can be very important for the psyche and the body. So I'm going to bring you this reading today. Um, it is from the book of Job, which I think is often misunderstood. I think that is um, a very interested and complicated book, but something that's very beautiful about it is how um, the natural processes of the world are described as something that um, we humans don't have control over. So in this time of pandemic, we are... Um, using our agency to social distance and stay safe and keep other people safe. And that is something we do have control over. But there is quite a bit that we don't. And how do we deal with that? How do we um, let those waves of grief pass over us? How do we live in a time of great uncertainty? So I invite you to close your eyes, sit up straight, put your feet flat on the floor. Breathe into your stomach like it's a balloon filling with water. Breathe out slowly. Who has cut a channel for the torrents of rain and a way for the thunderbolt to bring rain on a land where no one lives, on the desert? which is empty of human life, to make the ground put forth grass. So I'm gonna give you a writing prompt and either you can pause this video or you can just finish the video and then write on it later. I want you to make a list of things that you cannot change and things that you can change. So just to help our minds kind of categorize and remember what is within our own purview and then just remembering that um, you can work on accepting the things that you cannot change and finding courage for the things that you can change. So you can either pause this video or just join me with your eyes closed. Take your hand and put it over your heart, maybe two hands. And just set yourself an intention for the day. 
doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be productive, measurable, glorious. Just something that you know is going to bring you life, bring you wholeness, bring you healing. Maybe so. Blessed be and amen. See you tomorrow.